project, we will be making a fudge sickle soap and a raspberry drizzle soap. For the fudge sickle soap, we are going to use a crinkle cutter to make a bite-sized nibble from the soap sickle. You will need a pop mold kit, soap colors, soap fragrance, melt and pour soap base, soap clips, a microwavable container, and a microwave. We are using both white and clear soap base for this project. Non-bleeding liquid gel soap colors are highly recommended. They are easy to work with and color fast and any soap fragrance in any oil base is perfect. Cut your soap into ice cube sized chunks and place into a microwavable safe container. A large glass measuring cup is ideal. Melt the soap in the microwave in short bursts of power being careful to not overheat. You will be using clear soap for the fudge soap sickle and the red portion of the raspberry drizzle pop. White soap base will be used as an alternating layer of color in the red raspberry drizzle soap. Once the soap is melted, add soap color and soap fragrance. We are using tomato red for the raspberry drizzle soap and brown oxide for the fudge soap sickle. We recommend using two to three teaspoons of fragrance per pound of soap base being used. Thoroughly incorporate the soap color and then spray with rubbing alcohol to remove any air bubbles created by stirring. We will begin with the fudge soap sickle. Pour the colored and scented soap into the pot mold. Since the fudge soap sickle is a single color pour, we're going to pour it to the very top of the mold. Using the soap clips, position the wooden pop stick into the mold, making sure that it is centered. While the fudge soap sickle sets up, we will move on to the raspberry drizzle soap. Pour a layer of tomato red soap into another pop mold. Spray the surface of the poured soap with rubbing alcohol to remove any air bubbles that were created by pouring. While the red soap layer sets up, about five to eight minutes, Melt your cubed white soap. Don't add any color, but add any desired fragrance. Liberally spray the first layer of red soap with rubbing alcohol. This helps the next layer of poured soap to better adhere. Don't worry about the smell. It will quickly evaporate. Pour a layer of white soap over the red layer. Make sure the soap isn't too hot. If you can't dip your pinky finger into any soap base, then it's too hot for pouring. If your soap is too hot, you risk puncturing the red layer of soap. A good example of this is shown in the next photo. Note how the third poured layer has a blending of both the red and white soap. That's because the final red layer was poured too hot and bled into the white layer that was previously poured. Let this layer of white soap set up for eight to 10 minutes. Continue pouring the soap in layers, alternating between the red and white colors. Using the soap clips, insert the wooden stick into the mold just before pouring the final soap layer. Place soap pot mold in the freezer for at least one hour. This helps the soap to more easily release from the mold. Once the soap is firm, remove the soap clips. Remove pot mold from freezer. You will need a standard table knife to assist with release, so have that handy. Carefully slide knife down the front and back side of the pot mold cavity. This releases the air between the mold and the soap. Gently jiggle the wooden stick and pull soap from mold. Using the circle crinkle cutter, cut out one corner of the fudge soap sickle. Allow your soaps to set at least one hour before wrapping in the small soap bags. This tutorial has been brought to you by GoPlanetEarth.com in conjunction with Squeaky Clean Productions.